What is my definition of love? I have never seen uh, my mother and my father with anyone else but each other. Um, in my home, it was, you know, we had Christmases, whatever. Mommy and Daddy were always so strong and, you know, they were the head of the family. Love is, it's like warmth. Mm -hmm. Love is the reason uh, that we live. My definitely feel when two hearts can kiss each other perfectly and just forget time, that's, that's love for me. It has to be reciprocal and it has to be honest and true. When I think about what love is, I always first of all think about what I think a lot of people mistake it for. Love is obviously immensely complex um, and uh, immensely simple at the same time. Is love a feeling or is love a decision? And for me, it's a bit of both. There is this attitude of like, love is a feeling, you know, this kind of airy fairy thing and you can kind of go, oh, I love this person. But actually love is really about knowing and truly understanding somebody which takes time and experience. Romantically I'm always reluctant to say I love you mm -hmm. because it's like what does that mean? Yeah. What does that entail? But with family it's like it's always reciprocated. You you feel that love. You, yeah. That love is in my, my nan's cooking and that love is in I don't know like my mum ironing my shirt or that love is in me taking my sister to school. Love is actually a verb as the saying goes and so it, it really is about the consistent actions that we do each day. When you're in a relationship with someone it's harder to find. Like you, I think you're always searching for that um, idea or that meaning of love. Do you love me? Am I in love with you? Is mm. this real? You know but I think for family it's kind of it is, it's organic. I know straight away that my father loves me. I know straight away that my mother loves me. My sister, my brothers, they all love me. It's an organic feeling. And we don't have to say love. We don't yeah. have to, you know, as, as you said, it's in the cooking, it's in the ironing, it's in everything they do and touch. You know, everything that we disagree with that they do. Um, but we know at the end of the day, whatever they're doing, it's because they really love us. My definition of love, I would say sacrifice. Um, because to me, when um, we got married, and before we got married, we had to decide that we were going to stay in love. Like, some people think love is like a feeling and it's just like today, I really love you today. And then when he doesn't pick up his socks off the floor and leaves a mess, then that love disappears. But to me, love is sacrifice. It's always giving. It's never, I'm not waiting for him to do something for me. I'm always looking at ways that, how, how can I give? How can I show that I love him? So that means sacrifice. It can't be me first, it's him first. Love is about uh, the ability to be fully human uh, and the ability to, uh, to connect with other humans. When I made that decision to say I'm going to go down on one knee and propose to you, um, it was a decision I made and I said um, regardless of what happens, I'm going to love you unconditionally, even if you know, I have hard times, bad times, good times. Um, so for me it's about love is like a decision. It can be deliberate about love. Um, so yeah, so it's a bit of feelings. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I do feel. Have to, yeah, mm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, a, yeah, it's more than feelings. In order to really, really love somebody, we also really have to love ourselves. We have to really be willing to know and understand ourselves. And in that way then, I think that we truly are open to loving the other person. Otherwise, I think when we talk about like love the feeling or we don't really know somebody, but we're going, oh, like, I love that person so much. We're really just loving, like, the idea of that person or that picture in our head. And I think that that is a really pervasive issue, actually, in society, that we've gotten very, very confused about what love is really all about. And the, the ways that we go about doing it mean that we actually can't love ourselves at the same time as well. And realistically, at the end of the day, if we truly want to love people, we have to allow ourselves to be open to really knowing and understanding them. I wonder in your existence, because in these times I find it hard coexisting with ignorance. The ignorant who revel in the fact that their demeanor or mental critique are whack to me, but who am I to judge? I use my mind to feel, they use their eyes to touch. I use my ears to hate, because the ones that most women dream about are the men they won't date. <laughs> And the nightmares are seemingly the right breath. See me, I'm quite scared. If I was an angel, they're in love with devils. If love was music, I'm the bass, they're the treble. So you can only feel me when you start raising the levels. 
But if your ears aren't ready for my metaphors, I'll tell you all right here. See, I feel I am a dream in a world full of nightmares. I dream there's a dream girl out there I could find here who's only nightmares, find her eyesight quite clear, clear enough her to steer right clear of nightmares who love to see me die. Right here. But see, that blind fair sees. Because if she opens her eyes, she'd realize her dream's right here. In me. Surprise. <laughs> But love is blind, so there's no surprise you close your eyes to see me. See, I believe love is a heart with lips, so when God made Eve from Adam's ribs, it meant that you had to be vulnerable, to be kissed. And look, I want to trust one of you with this and that, but your demeanor or mental critique are whack to me, but... Who am I to judge but a man who wants to love anything but that which I'm forced not to trust? Trust, I've had enough. Because the same men most of you girls are complaining about <laughs> are the same men most of you girls are still dating now. And it's amazing how you proclaim to love the life you're hating now. Look, I'm just saying, I've sculptured myself to please you. Indeed, every man is physically made to please you. But I molded my brain from insanity to clarity so my heart be guided to beat for you. Made my pulsation force me to leap for you. If ever there was a bullet with eyes that wanted to see for you, I would make my body your protection and bleed for you. Believe is true. Trust when life wants to F you up. I will be the form of contraception stopping you from putting a seed in you. Believe is true. Look, I haven't seen you. But I believe in you. And these girls claiming to be women don't deter me from finding where you are. I just wonder where you are. So where art thou? Are you far?